Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today, mighty God, as one body, Lord. We come before you, mighty God, as we, you know, acknowledge, Lord, that yes, it is Black History Month, mighty God, but we are gathered here, mighty God, for something much greater. Mighty God, we come before you, mighty God, and we are acknowledging, mighty God, that you're the God that's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all, Lord. And mighty God, in spite of our circumstances, God, in spite of, mighty God, the situation that we are facing, Lord, it's always important to remember, mighty God, what is, you know, what is above everything else, Lord, and that is you. So, Lord, as we come out here this morning, Lord, I pray, Father God, that you just look, mighty God, into each and every one of us, Lord, individually. Lord, I pray that we also look into ourselves, mighty God. And Lord, anything that is not, you know, right, or anything, mighty God, that should not be, I pray, mighty God, that you just clean us, mighty God, from the inside out. Father God, we know that, you know, your, your grace is abundant, Lord. Your mercy is, mighty God, overflow. So we pray, mighty God, that you just continue to just be that merciful and graceful Father that we know. I pray, Lord, that you just continue to bless us, Lord, each and every one of us, mighty God. Because, Lord, we're all on a different journey, mighty God, but it all leads to an amazing end. I pray, Father God, that you just continue, mighty God, to just wash us with your blood. I pray, mighty God, that you just continue, Lord, to just give us the strength to fight, even though, mighty God, at times it might seem impossible, or at times it might just seem so hopeless. It's just so great, mighty God, knowing that we can just sit down, relax, and just know that you're going to be in total control. Lord, I pray that you just continue, mighty God, to just lead us, Lord, along the path that you want us to walk, mighty God. It's not our will, Lord, but your will be done. I pray, mighty God, that you just continue to strengthen us each day as we walk daily, Lord, because this is a daily journey that we take, mighty God, to your holy presence, Lord. I pray, Lord, that we'll never forget, Lord, you know, to reach out to one another, Lord. morning says guide me oh thou great Jehovah pilgrim through this barren land hallelujah you may sit while we sing so we'll sit on the first two stanzas and then we'll stand on the last one two three guide me oh thou great Jehovah
We just want to, to you guys to know that the theme is remembering our culture. Amen. Praise the, Praise the Lord. As we remember our culture this morning, we are going to be focusing on the slaves really played a very great part in our lives. In D 
this Jamaica that we are now enjoying. You know, the night before the day of emancipation, they went up in the hills. They gathered there and decided they weren't going to sleep. They were going to be watching to see the break of day so that they can know, yes, we are free today. And the songs we are going through, we are just going to use it to depict what may be happened while they were there. It will soon be done.
can imagine how those slaves felt. And I just feel that you're going to call you this end. Shout out. I am free.
standard this morning, as we depict our culture this morning, we cannot be so heavenly bound that we know not what is happening on earth. Amen? Jesus set us free, and we are free indeed this morning. And as we look this morning through our Jamaican culture, I want to say to anyone who is listening or looking this morning at Cornerstone Open Bible Church, that the motto for Jamaica, which says, out of many one people, it's one of the best motto in the world. It's the only motto that says, out of every church will be drawn a people who will make up the true church of Jesus Christ. And that's why the enemy is after us. But this morning, out of many any one people, we will join the throng that will march into the new Jerusalem, which will be the church of the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. This morning we look at our symbols and they remind us of how beautiful we are. What a wonderful country we are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are always happy. No matter what is happening. Jamaica is a happy place. It's one of the best place on earth. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. So let's remember our emblems this morning that speaks to the life that remind us that we are free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And there's double freedom for us this morning because we are children of the King. Glory to God this morning. Glory to God. And this morning we are going to all say the national pledge of jamaica because we will always be jamaican if you go to africa you are a jamaican and if you go to america you are a jamaican and if you go to canada you are still a jamaican anywhere you go you will be a jamaican but as jamaicans this morning we stand proud and we will say the pledge together before god and all mankind i pledge the love and loyalty of my heart the wisdom and courage of my mind, the strength and vigor of my body in the service of my fellow citizen. I promise to stand up for justice, brotherhood and peace, to work diligently and creatively, to think generously and honestly, so that Jamaica under God increase in beauty, fellowship and prosperity and play a part and in the advancing of the welfare of the whole human race. Are you in agreement with that this morning? Put your hands together. Bless the name of the Lord. We are now going to sing the national song of Jamaica. Jamaica land of
You may be seated. This morning I welcome you to the Cornerstone Mission Church. It's good to see you here and we, I am very happy to have you here. And I'm sure the Lord is happy to see you in His presence. Amen. Let's put our hands together as we welcome the Holy Spirit. Let's welcome the Father. Let's welcome the Son. Together to meet the God in this morning. Three in one and one in three. Let's give a bit of applause this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. I wonder if there's one who is worshiping with us for the very first time. You have never been to this church before, but you're here this morning. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Just remain standing until you're being welcomed by someone this morning. Thank you, Jesus. We are happy that you make it to Cornerstone Mission Church this morning. If you don't have a church where you worship, you can make this place your place of worship. Thank you very much. Maybe you had a birthday during the week or you're celebrating your birthday today. Is there anyone like that? Praise the Lord, Sister Stuart. Amen. We wish you many, many more happy, happy birthdays. We won't ask you how many you have gone through, but we pray that you'll have many more after today. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Maybe you had a wedding anniversary during the past week or celebrating one today. Do we have anyone like that? Oh, Sister Day, I thought you were standing. Bless the Lord. Anyone who went away and you have returned? Well, let's put our hands together. Touch your neighbor and tell your neighbor, welcome to church this morning. Wonderful. Wonderful. Please enjoy the service. I know hand over to the moderators. Ministry in song by Sister Janelle Bodier. This will be followed by a poem by Sister Grant and Company.
by the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. We hung our hearts upon the willows in the midst thereof. For they that, that carried us away captive required of us a song. And they that were stead us required of us mirth. Say, sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange place? Redemption songs, redemption songs, the songs of freedom, songs, the songs of freedom, is all I ever have. Emancipate yourself from sin and slavery. None but our Heavenly Father can set us free. Have no fear of what man can do unto you, but rather fear the Almighty, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. He is to be feared. Give him a better round of applause than that. We cannot continue in sin and slavery when we have a mighty God who is waiting to set you free. So if you are not free this morning, I encourage you to take that step to become free. And who the sun set free Hallelujah. is free indeed. Wave your hands if you are free this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. As, as a church family, we have had some losses over the past couple of weeks. And I have here two cards um, expressing appreciation from Sister Carol Stevenson. Her mother, Sister Makala, passed some time ago. Um, this one says, thank you for the blessing you are. Your interest, cooperation, and kindness play such a big part in lifting the spirit and touching the heart. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Psalms 27 verse 14. To Cornerstone Ministry, that this warm thank you card couldn't even begin to express what a wonderful blessing you have been. Thank you. From Sister Stevenson and family, God's blessing. And then more recently, we have... Um, Sister Janet Mills and Sister Judith White and this card says to thank you actually their father passed wasn't them we never know how deeply an act of kindness can touch a heart just wanted to let you know how very much your thoughtfulness was appreciated to Cornerstone Mission Church family from Janet and Judith and our family we bless the Lord that we are able to laugh with each other and also mourn with each other and be with them in their time of bereavement and we pray that they will continue to the lord will continue to minister to them as they grieve their passing of their loved one continuing our worship our worship we now have a ministry in song by sister Chantel jones and this will be followed by the introduction of the morning speaker by brother derek watson Please come in that order. Mr. Chantel. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. I'm sure we all Christians have been through what I'm going to say now. Satan tried to deceive me while on my knees in my room one day he tried to tell me that my troubles they would never go away so confused with no one to help me or show Oh, 
hold you and so down on my knees. And that song is so appropriate at this time. Because I understand the speaker to schedule for the morning. No, 